Hello, welcome to Maniacal Vapes. Yes, uh, another vape channel. Uh, first and foremost, let me apologize for the microphone here. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's kind of a piece of shit. Um, and uh, it won't pick up anything further away than this from my mouth. Uh, I've got a better microphone I'll be using next time. I just need to get an adapter for it. So I do apologize for the whole microphone thing. Um, wanted to get a video up on YouTube uh, underneath the name Mani uh, Maniacal Vapes. Um, just so there was something there, just so it was bookmarked. Um, my few ideas I had about why I decided that a, another review slash vape channel was necessary. Um, not, I'm not mad at any vape reviewers or dissatisfied per se with vapor viewers I just think that there's a market for my type of view um, not really here to start beefs or to disparage uh, some reviewers except for one and we'll get to there later um, but the purpose behind this channel is to review things um, that maybe don't get their day in court uh, or if they do get their day in court it's just a shitty review people it is it's just fucking horrible um, and even from some you know named freaking reviewers um, there really isn't some in-depth stuff going on with um, with how they're approaching their review. Um, the way I intend to approach a review is uh, for everyone. Um, we all don't vape the same. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Let me take a hit real quick here. Huh? <coughs> what I'm finding is there's become a class system if you will in the vaping community um, and we've kind of broken apart and we've kind of segmented and there are people who won't review things because it's not how they vape um, and throw some dispersion upon the way that the rest of us vape so I'm going to try not to do that. I'm going to try. Uh, I'm kind of an asshole, but I'm going to try to be nice for the reviewing purposes anyway. Okay. Uh, next up on the board, I guess, is um, a little bit of an introduction. I'm Guy. Um, I work in a vape store. I have a juice line, yada, yada, yada. Who the fuck doesn't? Um, I'm not going to be hawking my product on here. That's not what this is for. This channel is literally for showing people stuff um, that they may not have seen somewhere else or, you know, like I said, a more in-depth view of it. Um, and, you know, that's kind of what my goal here is. And I hope that people find it informative. I hope that I can answer some questions. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've gone and had to sit through so many reviews trying to find out one specific item about something you know what I mean like um, you know does it use a spring or a magnet um, what is it fired down to crap like that okay uh, I know this here is kind of freaking distracting and I do apologize for that yet again um, see if I can adjust it a little bit better um, so I think here in the introduction what we'll do to kind of define uh, what you can expect from this type of from this channel um, is uh, one of my favorite review channels is Suck My Mod. Um, I love Matt and Vanessa. Uh, I think they brought a fresh approach 
to vaping stuff. Um, however, I think they lost their way. Um, they've gone kind of against their mission statement, as it were. Um, I watched just <laughs> just yesterday, as a matter of fact, I watched their very first video, and Matt was explaining why he was doing what he was doing. Okay, and uh, his thing was pretty much what I basically just said that things are not getting reviewed um, and he thinks they should be getting reviewed the difference here is he started his channel like two years ago and uh, the vaping world has changed um, but uh, with his mission statement of being reviewing things that don't really necessarily get reviews um, I can I mean, recall several instances where uh, him and Vaping with Twisted 420 and Grim Green and Ruby Roo all reviewed the same fucking product in the same fucking week. Um, yeah, that's not really going outside the box, I think. <laughs> um, and so that kind of that was kind of one of the first things that I went eh, okay um, and who knows I may jump on that damn bandwagon too I don't I mean you never can tell what the future holds but I just think that that's funny that the mission statement was uh, let's do something that people aren't seeing and then you do something that literally ev everyone is seeing um, so yeah Go figure. Um, let's see here. Uh, my primary objective, the main things that I really wish to review, um, it's kind of painfully simple. And to be quite honest with you, uh, you know, it's not that damn difficult. Um, I'm really into tube mods. Um, 18650, 26650. I don't do 18350s um, just because the way I build um, is not safe for batteries. Um, hell, the way I build for an 18650 ain't necessarily safe, but that's neither here nor there. Um, part of what I want to accomplish is show more mech mods. Um, we're seeing a trend right now in the industry where box mods rule and 200 watt devices is where it's at um, I'm, I'm, I'm not impressed I am not um, by my estimation there are uh, just a few actual box mods out there that actually do what they say um, 200 watt device off two 18650s lots of luck people it ain't happening um, it's it's kind of like the laws of physics or some shit um, so yeah um, not really understanding and then you know all the menus are basically the same and they're just variations on a theme really um, now the whole temp control thing is taken over which I am not um, team team temp control <laughs> uh, you're never gonna see that freaking hashtag with me um, I can't stand the shit. Um, I don't see the point to it. Um, and I think it's something, to me, it's very similar to cigarette manufacturers. Okay? Um, they told us what we needed. Uh, oh, well, you need a light cigarette or you need a, you know, a medium cigarette or whatever. Um, nobody was asking for temp control. Uh, nobody was begging for it. Um, everything else in vaping is consumer driven uh, from the first fella who came up with vaping uh, the concepts which uh, after doing some research I found it actually wasn't that old Chinese dude uh, in 2002 there was actually a patent filed in the 50s or 60s um, and the patent designs are exactly the same as our modern electronic cigarettes so go figure that huh um, but yeah, everything in the vaping world has been consumer driven. We figured out what we needed, 
uh, and we made it work. We made it adapt. Whereas temperature control is corporate driven. Um, and even then it was it was corporate driven and our first introduction to it was flawed. Um, they had so many problems with the um, DNA 40 chip temperature control um, that I mean they really kinda I think they brought it to market too quick and they tried to force it down our throats as this is the next big thing and it's not it's not uh, and, and just as a side note here um, I remember watching a Peep Sardo video when the little fella from Evolve went on there and of course we all know Peep Sardo despises uh, high wattage devices and so I think at that point in time the Segeli 150 had come out I believe and so Phil asked whoever the old boy was from Evolve uh, are y'all coming out with a high wattage device he says, oh, no, no, we're, we see no reason to do that. It's unsafe, yada, yada, yada. And then, what, six months later, here comes the DNA 200. Um, yeah, pick a story, bro. Pick a story. Um, so, moving on from there. So, yeah, I'm primarily a MechMod fan. Uh, I think I actually have just a couple of regulated devices. Um, the Relo RX200 is pretty much my go-to if I want a regulated device but quite honestly I don't much use them I'm a big fan of tube mods and this one happens to be a stacked uh, this is the Omega 18650 stacked with its own uh, Addy on top Let's see if we can get that yeah there we go there's a logo I think um, nice enough device it took a little bit of finagling to get it to work the way I want it to work but it is what it is okay um, god even I'm finding this fucking microphone distracting to be honest with you well shit but here's one of the main reasons there's two reasons why I decided to get into a review channel um, the first one um, is nobody reviews devices the way I use them. Now, granted, let's preface this by saying that um, I don't really use them in the safest fashion available. Okay, <laughs> um, I put way too much stress on the batteries, and by all technical versions, it is dangerous how I vape. Um, it's dangerous for someone who doesn't know what the hell they're doing. Um, for me, not so much. I, I'm relatively safe with it. I don't expect I'm going to go boom anytime soon. But um, I noticed a review. Uh, there was a review from uh, Todd of Todd's e-cigarette reviews. And there was, a, um, what was it, the Exalexis. Um, and I, I fell in love with I did. I fell in love with that device. And so I bought it directly right after the review. Um, what I did not, however, keep in mind is that Todd vapes a little bit differently than I do. Uh, Todd likes to creep around, stay around the uh, one ohm area, and I like to go into super sub ohm areas. And so uh, when I got this uh, mech mod, I built it up, and I think I built it like a .08, and it hot buttoned on me. Well, actually, did the button didn't get hot. Um, if you know the X Alexis, it's a telescoping mod, and um, where the inner tube goes into the, the the bigger tube, right there at that joint, friggin' lights you up, friggin' lights you up. But and if I had known that, I probably would not have purchased the device, even though as much as I love it, it's not for how I vape. Um, but I had no clue because all Todd uh, reviewed it at was you know around what he vapes at at about an ohm or so uh, which really didn't put any stress on it and to find out so that's kind of one of the things that I want to do is I want to run these things at different resistances because let's be honest with your people okay um, people are going lower people are going lower in ohms um, 
there is a cutoff point. I don't recommend going beneath 0.03 at all. Um, it's a little on the scary side. But, you know, um, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.08, 0 0.09, um, these are resistances that people are actually building to now. Um, you know, a year ago that was kind of unheard of, but now it's kind of relatively the norm. And nobody's testing these devices to find out, you know, hot button, if there's a spring in there, if the spring will, you know, collapse uh, under a certain unload. So you're getting kind of a picture. You're getting kind of an idea about this mod, but not really how you vape. So I really want to vape or to review a vape at what you're going to be using it at. Uh, not what I use it at because I don't vape like you. You don't vape like me. We're all individuals in this, which is part of the allure of, uh, of vaping. Okay. Um, so that's the first reason um, that I, I, that's when I get the first tickle that I need to do. Maybe would be an okay thing if I did reviews. The other is, like I said, I work in a vape store and I've had, several people you know after I get done um, walking them through their device or whatnot they're like you know you should do reviews and I'm like well yeah I, yeah, I don't know I don't know um, so quite honestly I'm just here to give it a try uh, I don't know how long this channel is gonna last I don't know if this is something that people will tune into and get any help from um, but I mean, I want to try. I think I have a voice that people can hear, if that makes any sense, okay? So, um, the next thing we're going to do here uh, is, uh, I swear to God here, people, I'm not trying to start any beefs with anybody. I'm really not. In, uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to, there's not going to be any editing in this son of a bitch either, because I haven't figured out the editing software yet, but... That's a coming. Uh, mm, yummy. Um, I'm not trying to start any beef with people. Um, and I'm not trying to annoy people off top. But I do have a few observations about. Uh, and I'm not going to call them fellow reviewers. Because they're reviewers. I'm just an idiot sitting in front of a freaking camera. Uh, holding a freaking microphone from Radio Shack. Okay. Um, I, I'm not their peer. Uh, I'm not their equal uh, in as far as the reviewing game goes, okay? Uh, not even fucking close, okay? But as someone who watches the reviews, as someone who is subscribed to these reviewers, um, just some thoughts and observations. Um, so, be, you know, bear with me. I mean... If you find it, you know, maybe you agree with me, maybe you don't. If you don't agree with me, fine, put it in the freaking comments. I don't give a shit. Um, I'm always open to hear what people say. Um, you know, and maybe, maybe I'm wrong about something. Um, you know, it could happen. It could. Doubtful. But it could, yeah. Okay. Okay, so um, <coughs> let's get the elephant in the vape room out of the way. Um, rip trippers. Um, there's been a lot of hullabaloo about this old boy, uh, about that dumbass video he put up. And um, everybody's thrown their two cents in, and I believe uh, I'm going to chunk my change in there, okay? Um did, is what he did with the video wrong? Of course it, is, it isn't. Um, come on, people. Get a fucking grip. Um, he chose to do something um, that wasn't popular. Um, but it's his channel. It's his persona. It's whatever he wants to do. Okay? Um, I don't think there's any question about that. Um, was it appropriate? Um, the best that I could akin this to 
is if I'm watching a Christian channel, um, you know, someone spouting off, you know, the Chris Judeo Christian whatever, uh, and I've been watching them for years, and it's praise God, hallelujah, and then one day uh, they come on and try to sell me a dildo, um, yeah, I'm going to have fucking issues. Trust issues at that. Um, and that's in essence what he did. Um, Rip Trippers is the reason a lot of people made the switch to vaping. Um, the dude is a very important part of the vaping community. Um, hell, he's coined terms that never existed before he used them. I mean, he's the one who came up with terms and definitions for vaping. Um, one of the things that, I mean, I think that we all should be aware of is, I know I hear a lot of people on the forums that want to complain that he never goes to any vaping events. Um, and that's, you know, from everything I've understand, that's true. I've never seen a video of him at a vape event or heard of anybody meeting him at a vape event. Sorry. But that's kind of his choice. And if you're shocked by this, and if this just teetotally just baffles you, um, then I've got one question for you. What's his name? Rip Trippers ain't on his birth certificate, people. That's not his name. He doesn't want you to know his name. He doesn't want you to know where he's at. The dude's private, okay? If he doesn't want to go to vape conventions and hang out with, you know, us, that's his fucking right. Uh, he started a vape channel to help people with vaping, uh, with equipment and builds and, and everything else. Um, nowhere in the contract, I mean, when this goes up on YouTube, I'm not signing a fucking contract that says I'm going to any vape conventions or anything like that, okay? Um, that's his choice. Um, I mean, if you can't figure it out that he wants to be anonymous, which is really weird because he's like the most subscribed, um, person on YouTube, uh, in the vaping community. Uh, it's kind of weird, and I bet that one caught him by surprise, to be honest with you. Um, but um, that's not really, I don't really have any issues with how he does things. Uh, it's the way he does it, and if you don't like it, you always have the final word at the end of the day to unsubscribe. To unsubscribe, to not watch him, to not give a shit. Um... I'm pretty sure he's not losing sleep over you. Um, I, I mean, I do get a giggle of the whole dry knuckles thing you see all all over in the comments and everything. But, um, I mean, it is what it is, people. And if you can't get over it, um, I kind of feel sorry for you, I guess. Um, I don't like it, but I still subscribe to his channel. Um I'm not sure why, but anyway, um, so that's the Rip Trippers thing, okay? Um, dude does good work, okay? That's all there is to it, and if you don't like that, uh, well, fuck off, I guess, I guess. Um, the, the other one I wanted to kind of address, which isn't really mainstream or anything, is uh and i'm not going after him or nothing because once again i'm nobody and he's got a fuck ton of subscribers um but mr Bassardo, um mr Bassardo, uh he does fantastic work as far as i'm concerned he is the best reviewer out there uh on several levels um on the technical side of things he does things that nobody else does um, he's kind of got a level, level head about him. Um, he pretty much, I mean, he is the reviewer's reviewer. That's who the reviewers go watch. Um, 
<clears throat> my only concern, let's say this, my only concern with his approach to vaping is Pibisardo does not like high wattage devices. Um, he does not like vaping at high watts. He does not like cloud chasing. These are not his forte. And of course, there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not bashing on him for um, not doing these things. Um, here's what I, I am slightly, you know, you know, maybe not a bash, but a tap, if you will, is um, whether he likes it or not, he has a certain responsibility now in the community. Um, people look at him for answers about devices, um, whether they're safe or not. You know, like the jellyfish uh, lotus there for a while. Um, you know, the way that that was for it. that was that was dangerous. Um, and he was the definitive word. Matt brought it up first, but he was the definitive word on that device. Um, so he can tell you if a device is, you know, doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, me personally, I don't give a flying fuck about a 40 watt device. Um, I realize that there are, is a certain market out there for your low wattage devices, you know, your 10 to 50 watt devices. Um, but the vape community is moving. Uh, and it's moving towards more power. If nothing else, um, a 200 watt device, let's, let's just take the Reload RX200, okay? The Reload RX200, if you put an Aspire Cleto on top of it, um, I like to run my Cleto at 50 watts. If I put that on top of the RX200, I've got vaping for days. I'm not using the 200 watts. What I'm using is the battery power. As opposed to, okay, um, let's take the, oh shit, what's that one? He, eh, I don't know, but let's just take any 40 or 50 watt device. If I'm running my tank at 50 watts, which 50 watts is not a criminal number here. It, it's not. Uh, it's an average number now. Um, anywhere between 35 and 60 watts is pretty much average on par in the vaping community. But if I'm running that Cleto on top of a 50 watt device or a 40 watt device, I've got that thing cranked wide open. I'm going to go through battery life and I'm going to go through that device very freaking quick. Okay. That's why these high wattage devices make sense. Are you going to run shit at 200 watts? Eh, I know some people who do, but I personally don't. Um, it's just for battery power. And I would like to know. If the device I pick up, let's take the Lazimo 200 right now. Uh, that one's relatively new. Um, I would like to know if it has any bugs in it. Is it firing properly? Is it giving me the correct wattage to voltage output? I mean, these are the kind of things that I would want to know. But because it says 200 watts on the device, it's not going to get looked at. Um, and I think that's a damn shame. And... I mean, it's not, well, I guess kind of it is his fault he took the responsibility on for being the type of reviewer that he is. Uh, so that does kind of pigeonhole him into where he's, uh, where he's at. Um, I mean, it kind of, I mean, I don't know, maybe there's an argument, counter argument there, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I, I think he has the obligation to review these items um, and it goes back to the whole review for everyone and I understand you're a mouth for longer um, I understand that you vape you know your cave at 15 friggin watts no worries man no worries but not everybody vapes like that and fewer and fewer and fewer people are vaping like that the vaping world has changed um, so um, I guess really that's kind of all I really got to say about that. Um, this is my first video. I thank you very much for watching it. Um, I don't know exactly how this thing's going to turn out as far as sound wise, especially with the microphone. I've been fiddling with this damn thing all day, trying to get decent sound out of it. Uh, like I said, I've got another microphone 
So hopefully the next video uh, will not look like shit or, you know, with me holding a damn microphone in front of my face all day. Um, if you made it this far, where well, we're at 30 minutes, if you made it this far, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I do appreciate you uh, watching. Uh, if you like, hell, even if you don't like, subscribe, damn it. Need fucking subscribers. Um, apparently, you get paid doing this. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Apparently, you can get rich. Oh, yeah. Look at Matt. He's rich. <laughs> um, well, I don't think I really have anything to say. 30 minutes seems like a good length for a first video. Um, hopefully, uh, there will be more videos coming. Uh, once again, I thank you very much for watching. And... Um, Let's start this journey, man. Have a good one.